Ah, it's so apparent what he's trying to do. Please, I don't understand. Yo, what's up? So, looks like Arya is still on that uh, Earth 2 copium, so we're gonna go over one of his new videos. It's really, really short, so it should be an overall short video. But yeah, let's go through his video here. Three minutes. It, the title is Israel is Open, Breaking News. Earth 2 will make you 5x your money today on, in Earth2.io. Straight cope, obviously, but yeah, let's just go ahead, get on into that video, and then we'll, we'll talk about it from there. What's up, guys? I'm kind of making an off-the-cuff video. Uh, I'm just going to talk off the top of my head because I'm not at home. I can't, make, I can't okay. edit the video, uh, but I'm going to get into it. Israel just unlocked in Earth 2 is kind of like a silent just unlocking. So if you're fortunate enough to be a subscriber of this of this channel, um, go get some Israel tiles because you will make money. I'm telling you, like it's, uh, okay. it's substantial. When so they what he's talking about is like they open up countries for purchase within Earth 2. Like you can purchase within like that country. So. I guess for like they unlocked Israel, so now you can go purchase tiles within Israel, and well, so there's there's more land for people to buy. And I guess if you, I think the argument he's probably gonna make here is if you purchase in early, you'll get a lot of that like like tax money that you get when people buy other um, tiles within like your region and stuff like that. So that's probably gonna be his argument here. But you all you have to assume that there hasn't been a lot of people who have already left like that have already left their investments or kind of left um, the company or whatever, like forgot about it since a lot of the other videos we've gone over in the past, even Arya's have talked about like how, like he calls it bearish. Obviously I say it's just like a complete exodus of the company. So you have to keep that in mind when we're talking about this kind of stuff, because if there's not that many people buying and they're not bringing in new people buying, then like it's, it's useless, right? If you buy tiles, in Israel and nobody else is buying tiles around you, you're not gonna make that money that Arya is claiming that you are here. Country in Earth 2, you stand to make a lot of money. So stop this video, don't even watch it, and just go buy tiles in Israel. So I'm telling you, it's uh, a land income I, I, tax, you buy a tile I knew it, there, I knew it, okay. Again, like the reason, the, the problem here is that, like the, we already know that there's people selling their tiles for like, 80% off, 75% off, like, their people are already, like, leaving, or maybe, like, maybe they aren't leaving, and they're just selling their stuff for mass discounts, because they want to be nice, but that also means that they're probably not buying a lot of tiles, if they're not interested in keeping the ones they have, so, honestly, if there's not a lot of people buying tiles, then there's not going to be a lot of that tax that you're going to get, right, you're not going to get that much of it, if, there, if there's just not that much activity around your your plot and it also means that you might lose your initial investment as well so when you're like in the system here if you're not already in the system then like you can see how he's trying to get you into the system to you know spend your money use his code he, he might bring it up in here though it's not really edited so he probably won't but he's trying to get you into the system so that you know he gets extra money and if you already are in the system, then I'm sure that he already has tiles purchased in Israel. So he's trying to get some of that tax himself. He's trying to like bring up his own, uh, like like stir up some excitement for this. And it seems very transparent to me. Uh, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. But to me, it really seems like what he's trying to do here is make this huge like mountain out of this molehill. And like there's really nothing that big about it. And he just really is trying to keep this like investment of his growing as much as much as he can while i don't know if he views it this way but i think he's trying to sucker some people in to this like what i would consider a scam you will make like four to five x your money just in land income tax it's alone. it's so speculative it's so speculative anytime someone says that there's no such thing as a sure investment right there's no such thing so anytime someone says like, oh, you, you're for sure going to 5x your money, it's like, I don't know, dude. Like, it makes me very, very suspicious. Even the critics, go, go over there, buy a couple tiles, and you will see income floating into your accounts. And then once the land income stop, uh, no. tax stops, because it'll eventually slow down, then you sell the property and make like two or three times your money. 
So yeah, again, like this is all speculation. I think that's the problem here is he's kind of like talking about it like it's a sure thing. Like, yes, people will buy your property for this much money or like you'll make money on the on the sale of your property. And yes, you're going to make money because people are going to be buying tiles around you. So you're going to get some of that tax value. But again, it, it's so dependent on how people feel about purchasing these tiles in Israel. That's what I mean. So like if nobody ends up purchasing tiles in Israel, then you're just wasting your money. That's the problem. And I think that he might be seeing that right now. And so he's like, hey, go buy tiles in Israel so I can make some of my money back. Go over to Israel. It just unlocked today. Like, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago, whenever I had a chance to upload this video. Like, oh. I'm trying to push this to you as yeah. fast as possible because I'm in a freaking car right now. I can't even I can't even edit the video. But go over to Israel in earth2.io and buy some tiles and you will see the incredible gains that your account wait so if it's so i don't know why it's so pertinent like if if it weren't just so that you could gain immediate value and as much value as possible why can't why does it matter if you wait like like an hour or whatever until you get home why is it that important that you get this video out that quickly it doesn't really make sense to me unless you're trying to uh capitalize on some value immediately right it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like that idea of like FUD or like, you know, your your fear of missing out, stuff like that is he's trying to get people like hyped up and saying like, oh, yo, this is so important that it has to be done right this instant. But really, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not that. And like you could say like, oh, well, people will buy up the tiles there. But like the difference between like him uploading it now versus like an hour in the future, I, I it, it for an entire country, especially when the like sales on this website are down it just doesn't make sense to me that this isn't just to stir up some kind of excitement and like the idea that if i don't do this now it's it's going to be too late and it seems very very transparent to me again and so i encourage any of you to kind of think about this before you ever make any kind of investment or anything like that is the person telling me this advice do they have an incentive to lie to me do they have an incentive to like is there, are they making money off of this kind of stuff you know you think about that and in my opinion this is like so blatantly obvious will make if you need five percent off all your land i'm gonna put that in the description box i knew it you know he just puts his code in there oh my god like how how like honestly if you've honestly used Arya's code tell me like why you did it because it's so it just it's, ah it's so apparent what he's trying to do please i don't understand and you get five percent off the land so you're getting land income tax sell sale of the land and five percent off with the code you really can't beat that like don't use this code go join the earth it's such discord a scam. right now if you want to shane was in the, the chat room of discord talking about this and kind of hinting that israel is open and people eventually caught on and it's going absolutely nuts right now. So a lot of uh, networks are saying that, you know, or two networks are saying that Israel's open. And I'm telling you, like, the income that you'll make off this one country is going to be insane. Because Israel is one of the most religious, most holy places in the Wait, world. Wait, what? Okay, that's... Okay, there's there's some kind of, like, truth, right? Is, is like, the idea that pe people on Earth, too, like to buy pieces of land that they like know in the real world are important so like people will buy like the white house or people will buy like massive like centers of companies and stuff like that because they think it's going to be important it's going to carry over into the game in some way but that's not necessarily true right so something that might be important to like americans like the white house is not necessarily important to people from other countries right and so if you're mass or like the the majority of your player base is from a certain country and they don't necessarily have any religious ties to israel now there obviously are religious like things in israel that are very important to some religions but that's not to say that the majority of people playing earth 2 or that are invested in earth 2 i don't really like saying playing because you're not playing anything you're you're playing losing money i guess um but like there's nothing to say that the majority of people using earth 2 are like of those religions that really have any interest in israel or are of like some kind of demographic that has some kind of like maybe political interest or even like i don't know familial interest in the cup in the country like there's not really any like how do you know right so 
it's very again it's very speculative and it just comes down to what Arya thinks is the value of people who use earth 2 and what Arya thinks the player base of earth 2 is interested in um because if this were like a, a market that encompassed the entire globe then yeah that might make a lot of sense because if people are buying and selling on like from like every single walk of life in every single part of the world then yes it makes a lot more sense that there's probably going to be a lot of people buying and selling in Israel due to those religious um, and political things that are going on there. But it's like, that's not the case, right? Earth 2 isn't a globally, like a, a global thing. It, I mean, there might be people all over the globe who do it, but it's not like something that every person is doing in the same way that say almost every American is in some way invested in the stock market, right? If you have like a 401k or, uh, or if you have any kind of index fund or you can like, I mean, you can invest directly, I guess. Or if you like even through like work, sometimes, you know, your job will automatically put money into your 401k. So like stuff like that, I guess it's unfair for me to say that most Americans are in that, but a, a lot more Americans than like a higher percentage of Americans than a percentage of the globe is in Earth, too, if that makes sense. So. It's not really, it doesn't really have the player base, I think, to make claims like that. So property will go for a crazy amount of money in Earth 2. Speculation. if you get to the mosques or some of the, the higher value areas of Earth 2, you will see gains. Like you see from my channel and my older stuff and where I, I'm, I've been selling stuff for like $10,000 or I bought it for 75 bucks. Like that wasn't a joke. That, that was real. Like I really made that money. And I, put it in I believe you like again he was an early adopter though so while being an early adopter of an entire system is good once the system's already in place being an early adopter of another part of that system isn't always the best i guess even being an early adopter of any system isn't necessarily good right but because he was like an early adopter of this like thing that was like first to market that meant that he's at the top of this pyramid scheme now you're probably way at the bottom and you could probably say that there's like many pyramid schemes if each region is kind of like this but it doesn't really matter the point is and the overall pyramid you're still going to be at the bottom money in israel if you get high value targets within or two I'm, I'm not this is just this is not a joke it's, it's insane there's a lot it's kind of a, a lot joke, of right? in, uh, a lot of updates coming this month i'm or two alone, sure so hey sure. look on my channel, I go over the updates every single month. Go check out those videos. I just did October's updates. They're embarrassingly bad. I talk about like how they don't really talk in de in detail about like any of the updates or what they are. They'll just say like, oh, we fixed some formatting or or we changed UI or we fixed UI. It's like that means nothing, right? So they'll do this thing where they they say those things and they'll and they'll put those things in there, but then sometimes they'll double up on things that they've done. Or they'll like say they did things when they really didn't. And we can see and talk about that and like how they present that. So I go over that stuff a lot. Go check that out. So I hope that there's a lot of updates this month. So I actually have something to talk about. But I just I can't imagine that there actually will be. Sure you subscribe to this channel. Smash the like button. Because we have a lot of stuff coming coming this this month. It's, it's going to be an unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And I'm not above saying not above making a I told you so a video to the, the critics out there. I don't know what uh, the I told you so would be, right? So, like, if you're saying that, like, some people will make money on Israel, I don't think anybody's saying that they won't. No, I'm not saying that people won't make money by investing in Israel. I'm saying that it's speculative and best case scenario, you make money. But also, if you're, like, still getting in now, you're still towards the bottom of the pyramid, right? And he's already towards the top. So people at the top of the pyramid are obviously going to make a lot more money. I, I never once have said that you can't make money doing this. You can obviously make money on scams. People do it all the time. That's kind of why scams are a thing. What I've said is that the like creators of this like quote unquote game and the people who are in charge just seem incredibly sketchy based on like the like updates that they put out, the stuff that we've seen from their tweets, the stuff that they've worked on in the past, all that kind of stuff I've gone over in videos before. I know people like Kira TV have gone over you know, upper echelons gone over, like people have gone over these things. And I like to specifically focus on the development parts of it, because I think that if we even just looking at that, it's very obvious that nothing is really happening here. It's so it's so blatant to me that when we look at those updates, we can say like, wow, there's some really awesome filtering going on. It's like, who cares? Like filtering is such an easy thing to deploy. And it took them a month to do this or more than a month in some cases. It's really, really embarrassing to me. 
and I, I, I don't know. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, go check out my other videos. But um, it just is so obvious with how this company is run that it's a, it's a big problem. And that that's where most criticism comes from and why people think it's a scam. Bunch of good fun guys make sure to pick up some uh oh, okay that's the end of the video but yeah so that's my opinion on it of course i always encourage you if you disagree with me leave it down in the comments we can have a discussion even if you do agree with me it helps me out in the algorithm if you leave a comment down below um if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to the channel i do cover earth 2 stuff pretty often uh it's not just earth 2 either if you have other things that you would like to suggest like other um, things that might be a scam or other games that interest you that you're unsure about, let me know. Or if you have videos of creators who are talking in a similar fashion to Arya and you're kind of unsure of like you, you have some kind of suspicion that there's something wrong going on and you're not sure, let me know. I do do a lot of breakdowns and stuff like that. Um, I, it's less so in this video because like there's not really a lot to break down. But if you look at some of the first thing coverages I did of Earth 2, it was really breaking down the rhetorical strategies that were being used by Arya to kind of swindle people into investing or at least like hook line and sinker into like this idea that earth 2 is not a scam and so if you have other things like that let me know and i'll check those out but yeah thank you so much for watching peace